Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Spirit Caller. It's me, Cooper, and today we're going to be making money, which is something I say every day, so if you haven't learned it by now, that's all I care about. All I want is money. Once I have the money, I can do anything. Speaking of which, hello, Cyrus. Yeah, I beat both Dr. Crowler and Chaz. I wish I could keep up. Here I go. Even though that was the Dr. Crowler duel was just a beginning duel that we never got to see, and I really wish I could draw a uh, duel Dr. Crowler. Right now, all we can duel is uh, Professor Satir, Sartire, Sir blah blah blah. I don't know how to say their names. I actually don't care. Whatever. Let's go ahead and duel. Ooh, Giant Rat first turn. I like that. Oh boy, I have a good combo in my hand. Oh. <laughs> As long as Cyrus doesn't pull off some bullcrap, with some bullcrap traps or spells, we got him. Beautiful. Steamroid. I love it. This is the one time I wanted to see Steamroid on the first turn, because I have such a good hand. All I have to do is pick Dream Clown, go into defense mode, polymerization, summon my Bistro Butcher, and do a ton of damage to Cyrus. But that only works if Cyrus doesn't use any bullcrap spells and traps. Shit. All right, it only takes one, right? It only takes one. So I could do a shit ton of damage this turn. Like a shit ton of damage. But in order to do that, I'd have to let him keep his steamroid. And I don't know if I'm willing to do that. You know what? Why not? I'm gonna just screw it. I mean, he might have Mirror Force anyway, so he, I want him to lose his monster by his own hands. Then I'm going to activate Polymerization. A card I rarely get to use in this deck. To summon one of my favorite monsters, or at least favorite fusion monsters. The Bickery Box. Yeah. Ever since I saw Pegasus use this card as a kid, I've always wanted to summon it, and I've been summoning it a lot more lately. I'm going to summon the Bistro Butcher. I'm going to hand off the ha Axe of Despair to my Bickery Box. And we're going to try and do a shit ton of damage this turn. Wabaku. And it's over. All of my plans ruined. I tried. I really tried. I just wanted to do a lot of damage. And the game said no. <laughs> Alright, well at least he was in defense mode. So we could still do damage starting next turn because this turn not so much but starting next turn we can do some damage so I really gotta hope that that face down isn't submarine roid I really gotta hope it's not submarine roid because if it is I'm not gonna be able to destroy it with my butcher okay it was just swordsman of landstar you never know if he's gonna have one of his broken roids or one of his terrible warriors all right whiptail crow get in there and Cyrus, you need to do something else now, buddy, because I'm kind of rocking you. I'm rocking them socks off, that's for sure. No, that's not that's not impressive. You know, oh, well, look who it is. It's our Oscillo Hero number two. Very cool. All right, out of curiosity, is it one of his weak monsters? It is. It's Cannon, one of his weak warriors. Because I assumed he would have used Submarine Roid last turn if he had it. Bickery Box, why don't you do 3,300 damage? And then we still have 2,800 more, so we're not going to win this turn, but we're going to try. I'm probably going to lose my hero, so no level up experience, but whatever. At least I got to do this much. Alright, boom. It's still hero number 2, 1,000 extra damage. And now Cyrus is barely alive. Look at our little spirit right there. Ugly little germ looking thing. I know he's supposed to be like a thunder mite or something, but he's he's ugly. Yeah, he's got a lot of new cards, so some of the things got to be good now. Hey, he set a card. I have a chance of winning the duel with Silo Hero, but I have to be careful. Oh, I win. I definitely win, because I thought he was going to have something to stop me. He's got nothing to stop me now. Victory Box, why don't you do the honors of destroying the face down? There's the submarine I hate. It's gone. And a Silo Hero, my spirit monster, why don't you win us the duel? There we go, yeah! And with that, we're going to be drawing cards, aren't we? Let's see, 86 experience. Spirit experience, 8, nice. And 103 monies. 
Thank you, Cyrus. Um, yeah! We got Cyrus registered, everybody. Alright, that is good. We got Cyrus. So now that I have Cyrus, I don't have to duel him until the decks change. Alright, we got America over there. What else do we got? We got someone up here. Let's go duel them. Who could you be? Beauregard! Yeah, you're that person. The one that stopped you from being a big old bully to the Obelisk Blues that were bullying you. I know, I should have just let you go on with it. Oh, it did change my deck name. Curse of Cosmo. Good. Good. I thought it didn't, but whatever. Yes, I have my Curse of Cosmo deck now. Let's see. I Oh, I got both my clowns. I just need to draw Polymerization. Although I did start Mooka Mooka, and that is good. But the problem is now my giant rat's kind of useless. Alright, Mooka Mooka, why don't you go to work? Ooh, he has his own giant rat. What are you gonna choose? Giant soldier of stone? Like, Beauregard, what are you into? You have the big shield guard? I didn't even know you had that card. I you, you probably used it before, but it's been so many episodes, and for me, it's been like three weeks since the first few episodes that I made, so... Oh, shit. Mooka, Mooka. Oh, shit. Hello there, Molten Behemoth. That's interesting. So he summoned a huge tank monster, but put it... Oh, that thing has a penis. That's just a penis. Alright, I'm not wrong. Right here, let me put it on the bottom screen real quick. Let me see if that creature has a penis. Just for funny. Look at that. It has a penis. Everyone, you get a good look at it? Good. Don't demonetize me, please. <laughs> please don't demonetize me. I need money. Um, desperately. That's why I have a job now, and I have this. To pay for my schools and to do stuff. Alright, Duname is the Dark Wage. Yeah, there we go. So you had a really good defensive monster and you put it in attack mode. Hilarious. And the funny thing is it's not it didn't even have better defense than the Big Shield Gardener. It just didn't have a negative effect to go along with it. I was wondering why you played that in attack mode. Actually, I'm still wondering. I'm stronger than you. Yeah, wait. <laughs> even with that card, I'm still stronger than you. So what's the plan? Oh, you want to lose the duel. That's the plan. Okay. Well, I can help you with that. All I gotta do is pay 800 life points to steal your monster. And then get a whole new hand just so I can see what better cards I can get. There we go. Snake hair. There we go. Activate snake hair. Or summon snake hair. Then I'm going to do this. Backup soldier doesn't help you in any way, shape, or form. Sure, you get your molten behemoth back. But other than that, you're kind of screwed. 1800 damage. Hell yeah. And then 1,500 damage, hell yeah. And then 1,700 damage thanks to you, Beauregard. You wanted this damage. And now you have to pay for it. And then main phase two, I'm going to use a good old Sword of Revealing Light. I was going to use Upstart to heal him but uh, and get a new card, but I think I can win without drawing an extra card. Not even willing to put it in defense mode, you coward. Alright, Giant Rat. Gonna have to upstart, sadly. Because I know he has big insect. Hey, there it is. Yep, I healed him and I took damage. So, let's do it like this. Diname is the Dark Witch, you destroy you. Because we knew it was big insect. Dark Elf, my all-powerful card, you destroy his life points and his monster. And then Snake Hair is gonna bring him down to low, low life points. Or I could get in there and do some damage. Alright, Snake Hair, you do a good old 1500. That's good. And next turn we'll win the duel. I wanted to win this turn, next turn's fine. Alright, other than Giant... I was gonna say, unless he summons Giant Orc. Other than Giant Orc, we win. Uh, there's, no even, there's no point to me using Cold Wave either, so yeah, this is over. Although I just thought of something. If he drew one of his 2,000 defense point monster cards, I also lost. So that would suck. Oh, okay, giant rat. No matter what he chooses, he'll lose the duel. wonder what he'll choose, though. That's... Yep, there's the giant soldier of stone. Would have been useful at a earlier point, but we're not at that point anymore. Alright, giant rat, why don't you do the honors? Yeah, you can barely beat him. 
Nice. I never thought Rat could defeat Stone, like Giant Stone, with a sword, but he can. And Snake here, you could defeat Beauregard. Alright, buddy. This is a good duel. You know, want to register me like Cyrus did? You want to want to become friends? You want to chat on the PDA and whatnot? I would like to chat on the PDA and whatnot. Yeah. <coughs> oh, excuse me, guys. Let's see if I get lucky. Ah, Briar's pretty good now, too. That's all he ever talks about is Briar. Let's marry the guy already. Alright, let's see. Briar, I'm going to believe in myself more and become a real duelist. Let's go. All right, Mr. Real Duelist, you still use the same deck, so you better just use it better than normal. Damn it. Oh, very good. He's letting me go first. I appreciate that. My Curse of Cosmo deck will not lose to your Piercing Spear, though. So, I'm sorry, Briar. Wow, I did not draw a monster. There's my monster, the Hero of Osillo. I summon the Hero of Osillo. And I'm going to give it a big old Axe of Despair, making it a 2,000 attack point monster. If you can beat that, Briar, I'll be impressed. And now I'm going to set a bunch of spells and traps to protect myself. There we go. Right, brain control just in case. My goal is he summons something super strong and I kill it. Nope. That's a good card. Not good enough for me to stop, but a good card nonetheless. Maybe I'll draw another monster. Hey, that's a monster I can't use at the moment. Robin Zombie's fine. I needed a different monster card, or I needed swords to flip up his monster. Oh, it's Tigerax, cute. I forgot you use beasts and uh, you use uh, the force field spell. Yeah, beast and beast warriors, I believe. Well, that's not going to be good enough to defeat me, Briar. My hero is too strong. 2000, or 2000 attack isn't a joke. 1800 attack now, that's doable. I summon my giant red sea snake. Nope. And then we're going to attack Briar. Hey, Gazelle the King of Mythical Beasts. That's not a bad card. Not very great either, but it's not a bad one. Alright, now let's do 2,000 damage to my opponent. Uh-oh, Briar. You just got all your confidence back after, you know, being after I stopped you as the dual giant. You and Beauregard, that is. But uh, now you got to find a way to win. No, I'm not going to stop the Poison Fangs for half my life points. Are you kidding me? Come on. Come on, I'm better than that. Crass Clown, there's a card I like. I'm just gonna summon you. I'd like to use your effect, but I'm just gonna summon you. Alright, Giant Red Sea Snake, I would like you to do the honors, because these guys are usually pretty tanky, except that one. You never know when he's gonna draw one of his tankier cards. And I don't want to leave my clown to it. And then our spirit monster, Mr. Hero, number two, will do it. I wish I could get hero, uh, still hero number one. At least that's a, a warrior type monster. And doesn't look this disgusting. It's not red. Well, look at you, Mr. Alligator Sword. Are you going to try and attack me? Oh, let him. I'm, I want to see it happen. Oh, that's adorable. That is adorable. 2,700. He lost the duel on his turn. And he chose death. Briar, you're hilarious. <laughs> you're hilarious. 94 experience. I expect my... Yeah, Silver Hero gets 9 experience. Opponent's finish bonus. Yeah, we get 10 extra monies for that. And all of that is good news. Damn it, just register me already. I've beaten you guys both a pretty decent amount of times. Oh, we got some mail today. Best friends, thank you for registering me. Now we're like the best. Now we're like best friends. Let's keep dueling, Cyrus. <laughs> you are not my friend. I registered you because I respect you as an asshole, but you are still an asshole. We are not friends. You have ruined my wet record. You were the first to do it, and you're the only person to have two wins against me. Not even Chaz has two wins against me. Okay, do you understand this, Cyrus? He ruined me. Mozatani, yeah, he got me once. That was pretty rough. But, you know, since then, he's been kind of sucky. Alright, useless school. School fact of the day. Did you know that Call of the Haunted will stay on the field if you uh, don't destroy the monster that it's attached to? Alright, speaking of that, let's go over here. I've been to the east side of the island in a bit, so let's use that. 
Okay, who would be right here? You don't help me. I don't know when she's going to be willing to duel me, but eventually, eventually I'll be able to duel Fonda. I always expected her to be the one of the weaker duels since she's the PE teacher, but no. Oh, whatever. Let's duel already, Mindy. Your deck's a joke. You know what? Let's make a challenge for ourselves. I'm going to try and win by turn five. That's my challenge. Turn five. That's a super hard challenge, I admit, but it's a challenge I'm willing to take. All right. You know what? It's a pretty doable challenge now that I have this hand. I set this. I have my turn. I hope she attacks me. Oh, reload. Interesting. Damn it. It's going to be harder to beat you in five... Uh, well, yeah, in five turns. There we go. Look at you with your face downs. Oh, there's my solo hero. Nice. Well, maybe instead of trying to win in five turns, I'll just try to get my experience up. Okay, Crash Clown, put him back in the hand. And then I'm going to summon my Dark Elf. And we're going to do a ton of damage this turn. I don't want to summon my hero this early because they might get destroyed. And then if by some miracle I manage to destroy them next turn, that'll be great. But it's going to take a lot of lucky spell cards to make that happen. Oh, Shingen. Oh, crap. Yeah, that actually works against me because it lowers my attack points. Damn it, my dark deck. My Cosmo Queen deck. I'm getting destroyed. The only one, there's only one card in my deck that can stop that. The only non-dark monster I have. Oh, Silo Hero. Number two. And also, let's just get a new hand. Oh, you also have a Silo Hero number two. That's adorable. I didn't get any spells or trap cards I could use. Yeah, good job, hero. Wow, I didn't think this spirit would come in handy, but that was actually a situation where it came in handy. Yep. Oh, she had Kariba. Okay, it'd be really hard to beat her in five turns then. Hell, I might not even beat her in seven. Well, look at you. You're going to try and kill my hero. You didn't even try to kill my hero. Okay. I thought you would try, but no. Alright, summon Dunami is the Dark Witch. Dark Witch, go ahead and destroy face down. I'm glad I attacked with you. My little hero, you can do some damage too. Don't be afraid. Nice. And Dark Elf, even though we're losing quite a bit of life points, why don't you do the honors? Alright, Mindy's gonna have to top deck her best card, which is nothing, because her deck sucks. Let's see what she does anyway, though. That uh, Hoshingen, oh, Shunigen, whatever. Uh, that did something. And she gave up. Good. Good. That's the best ending to this. Alright, just so I can get more money, I'm going to summon the Cosmo Queen. There we go. Of course, I didn't get rid of my spirit monster. What am I, a crazy man? And now we're going to attack. There we go. Normally, I wouldn't attack with the silver hero, but I'm just like, hey, let the little guy have some fun. Before the duel ends. And Cosmo Queen, get me that max attack bonus. That's what I want to see. Yeah, I should get a tribute summon bonus, a max attack bonus, and all, all the good stuff. Spirit experience, there we go. Duelist bonus, no trap bonus, no... Ah, oh, I didn't get any of that stuff, darn it. I didn't get strong enough attack. Yeah, 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 I already defeated Alexis quite a few... Or twice now, so I don't care. She does not impress me anymore. There we go. Maybe you'll be a new duelist. Hey, Briar, what are you doing over here? Good to see you, buddy. Alright, let's go ahead. No, I don't want that. Let's try scissors. Damn it. Damn it. Alright, let's see. Goal of the this duel. I want to win in eight turns. I know that's not really a good goal, but it's the best I can think of for now. Forest. I have giant rats, so that might not be good for him. That sword beast. Ooh, he's in trouble. He picked the wrong. Yeah, he picked bad. Oh, cool. I got my hero. I summon my giant rat. I'm going to attack your monster. 
And thankfully, we have the same attack. Oh, you didn't get buffed. You're a dinosaur. It looks like a beast card, but it is a dinosaur. Either way, I got I got a victory there. I thought I was going to destroy my own monster and then get to special summon another one to do 16 direct damage. Hello, strong dragon card. So you got dragons, dinosaurs, beast warriors, and war uh, beast monsters. What the hell? Yet you use forest. I guess that's fine. I summon the giant rat. Do, 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 do. Just give me another giant rat. Mooka Mooka probably would have been better, but... Eh. I want to have options. Alright, Dark Elf. You're strong, but you're a little bit costly. So we're going to summon you in a bit. I said eight turns, so I don't need to win that quickly. Giant rat, why don't you do the honors? Avenge your brother. And giant red sea snake, why don't you do the honors? There we go. So, Briar, if you said you got better. You, you, you studied, right? You figured out what your deck was problems were. My opinion, it's your field spell. It doesn't do enough for you. Like, what? what? Oh, you, you would have destroyed giant red anyway without your field spell. So, like, you shouldn't have it. And you're not even strong enough to defeat my 1800 attack one monsters. Alright, Mooka Mooka this time. Because he's going to have big old attack stat. And one... Oh, now you play a trap card. Look at you being all tactical. Ah, uh, never mind. That's not a good trap. Uh, let's go ahead and do Dark Elf. That's fine. Shouldn't have set seven tools. I, I realize that now. Alright, everyone do some damage. Not like it makes a difference. I still plan on winning on, eight, on turn 8. And I guess I could do it with my spirit monster. There we go. For those of you that are curious, I only have one Oscillo Hero. I, I, I checked my deck and it says I only have one. So, I, I mean my trunk. And it says I only have one. So, I only have one in my deck and I just got lucky enough to draw it. All these times in a row. Alright, looks like the duel has concluded. I summon my hero. And now we're gonna win. Dark, no, not Dark Elf. Giant Red Sea Snake, you do the honors. There we go. Mooka Mooka, you can go next. There we go. And then my hero, you can win me the duel. There we go. Alright, our little germ has done it, everybody. We have defeated Briar. I don't know if that's a great thing, but it's good enough for me. 94 experience. We're getting close to another level up. Nice. 9 experience for you. One more and we can get that experience buff. Or whatever. We can get that level up. Yeah, just you wait. You know what? Let's go ahead and go back to the dorm. I want to go buy some packs, even if we don't have that much money today. You know, hopefully we can buy two packs. I like to buy three as a minimum, but sometimes you just can't make the money in time. Alright, let's go ahead and say I just decide to save now, even though it could mess me up in Let's Play in terms, but whatever. Worst case scenario, I'll be like, guys, I did some extra duels. I got, uh, because the, the, the episode got messed up. Whatever. We have more experience than normal. Alright, let's go to school, learn absolutely nothing. Am I right about that? Yep, learn absolutely nothing. Very good. Would that be a good uh, example of online college for you, everybody? And probably online learning for high school level. Oh, whoops. Not what I wanted to do, but cool. Got to see my boy Jaden for a second. All right, let's go to the store. Yeah, thank you, thank you. I heard you guys have been running low on packs. Oh, there we go. Now you got more packs. I can, oh, I can buy three packs today. That's something. All right, so if I could buy three, I'm going to buy one of you, one of you. It's a pack I haven't bought in a while. You know what? Give me an Exodia pack. Not my favorite pack, but whatever. Could get something cool. Like Misaki. Yeah, I like Misaki. Kunai with Chain. I already have one of those, but that's fine. Oh, I don't have one of those? I thought I had one of those. Weird game. Maybe it's a different card art. Lava Battle Guard, Meteor Dragon, Burstanatrix, claim- uh, oh my god. You can only have one Mage Power, so I'm not that excited, but Burstanatrix is a good get. Alright, and we got another Claim Man, which is always good. You want copies of the Elemental Heroes. What else can we get? 
Ooh, satellite cannon. If I can get Shining Angel, that is not a bad combination. All right, not bad, everybody. Not bad at all. I want to thank you all for watching, because that is going to be it. If you are enjoying this series, please remember to like and subscribe, because I'm trying to get this channel to get a little bit bigger. I'm pretty excited at how fast it's been growing. We're getting close to that 2,000 subscriber goal. But for now, we'll have to wait until tomorrow to see what kind of duels we're going to get into. For me, I hope we get some fun duels against, like, Alexis or something. Someone cool. Briar, Beauregard, any Mindy, anyone that I haven't registered, I'm fine with dueling. Because I want to get everyone registered that I can. Plus, we're probably going to level up our Duel Spirit next episode, and I think that'll be great. So, see you all then. Bye-bye.